All right, in this unit we'll conclude our uh, concentrated study on enzymes. We will talk about enzymes a little bit uh, in other units, but this is the end of the main study. And so I'd like us to kind of think as we go through this last mostly review lesson about Mr. Blue Guy and Mr. Red Guy. Who's Mr. Blue Guy? Well, he's this is a computerized rendition of an enzyme. Mr. Red Guy is what? Mr. Red Guy is the enzyme's what? Substrate. And where is Mr. Red Guy located? Deep within that enzyme's what? Active site. And so this is like Pac-Man. What is going to happen to Mr. Red Guy? When that active site opens back up, the enzyme, the uh, substrate will be changed. And so <clears throat> Mr. Blue Guy does it over and over and over again to substrate molecules changing them in some way. Does Mr. Blue Guy get changed? No, Mr. Blue Guy does not get changed. And so Mr. Blue Guy functions as, what's that C word? Uh, catalyst, right? What's a catalyst? A catalyst, we'll get a little more technical definition here, but a catalyst is a, an enzyme molecule, or well, it's any substance really, that brings about a chemical reaction while itself remaining unchanged, chemically unchanged. And so the enzyme does the changing. What have I compared enzymes to? Assembly line workers. Yes, and they operate just like the assembly line workers. They grab a substrate molecule and uh, let it, uh, do something to it, let it go, put it back on the assembly line, so to speak, grab another substrate molecule, do the same thing to it, let it go, put it back on the assembly line, grab another substrate molecule over and over again. It, <coughs> the active site closes over the substrate, changes it some way, lets it go. Active site closes over substrate, changes it some way, lets it go. That's the way enzymes function over and over and over again. Okay, now keep that in mind as we uh, work through this little unit.